So as we know, the Ford Maverick has a bunch of supply chain issues. They have a lot of supply constraints that's delaying them from producing your Ford Maverick. Um, as we stated last week, Ford received over 86,000 orders for their 2023 Ford Maverick, and that's not including the 2022 um, model year. So in today's video, I'm going to just talk to you all about what exactly are they waiting for, the different shortages that Ford is saying that's delaying their production and just completing um, vehicle orders for you all. And I think this will be great because let's say, oh, I ordered this option or I got that option or that powertrain. And if you find out those different options or trims or powertrains are included in the, I guess, supply chain constraints list, then you know you're probably going to have to wait a little bit longer than other people or other orders. So let me know down below which orders or which options that you got for your Ford Maverick and do you think it's going to delay you from getting your Ford Maverick or are you one of the lucky few that you think you're going to get yours pretty soon because you got a basic version of a Ford Maverick? Make sure you all subscribe to this channel for some awesome content around the automotive industry. All right, so I'm on FordAuthority.com. Um, this website is great for news around Ford, about their trucks, SUVs, and of course the Mustangs. So shout out to them. Um, I'll put their link in the description if you all wanna read the full article for yourself. But in this article, they just highlighted what the supply chain issues um, are affecting or like which areas of the Maverick is affected the most because of these supply constraints. Um, and they just highlighted about the orders they received um, and the different parameters around the supply chain issue. So right here, let's just get right into it. So the supply constraints consist of front and rear splash guards, the hard folding tri-fold bed cover, load box bed liner, pickup box extender, soft folding tonneau cover, the load box edge protector with lights, protective film for the hood and fenders, and the trail hitch receiver. Now, um, the trail hitch receiver, I think they come in different sizes, or I don't know if it's like on a specific type of hitch or is this all hitches together. But it says that latter item is not available to order as a standalone item, but is a part of the XLT. Luxury package, Larry Luxury package, FX4 off road package, and trimmer off road package. So, if you guys got those packages with that trailer hitch receiver, you just know that you're going to have some delays. And all of these things, you guys, if you have all these things, I think some of these things you can. You can just do it on your own, right? Like front and rear splash guards. You guys can probably buy that, um, you know, on a third market website. Uh, you know, of course, the bed cover, the bed liner. Um, so it seems like a good amount of things are not necessarily, I guess, what makes the truck, um, the truck or like get your order. Because, I mean, you're still going to have your good engine and everything like that. Um, but yeah, these are some some of the things. So if you guys have these options or any of these things, just expect a delay. So as we know, Ford Maverick order banks are closed to customers. These constraints pertain to dealer stock orders. And it's also worth noting that these supply constraints can change at any time as has historically been the case. So they can either receive them sooner than what they expect or it can be even a bigger delay than what we think it is. Aside from the introduction of the new trimmer off-road package, the 23 Maverick is also gaining a black appearance package and a handful of other changes. Of course, those things are more, you know, are going to be more of delay than other packages. Uh, I'm guessing since it's new and everything. Um, and so, yeah, it says the are now available in all wheel drive configuration. Yeah, that's the EcoBoost, we know that. Um, but yeah, another thing is I want to go to the forum, Maverick Truck Club. I'm always on here. And this is something interesting that I found. Uh, they got this information. I don't know where the people on this forum get their information, but I'm just putting it out there. You know, do your own research and everything like that. But 
They say that they're going to begin 2023 model year scheduling on October 20th. Key constraints is splash guards, and that's what we talked about, and then the FHEV, fully, I mean, the full hybrid electric vehicle. Yeah, essentially the hybrids. That's what it seems like. Yeah, because it says, does this mean no hybrids will be scheduled? Sounds like it, or at least a few will be picked. So we'll just see what happens with, with all these supply constraints, but I just wanted to keep you all updated on these issues. All right, let me know what you all think down below about these supply constraints facing Ford and especially the Ford Maverick. Uh, do you think this is going to give you more of a delay? Um, are you thinking of just canceling your order and going to another mid-sized pickup truck like the Chevy Colorado that I highlighted in, in another video or other options? Please let me know down below. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. All right, talk to you all later.